Hey, it's Rick Kettner here. Let's talk about how to establish a daily reading habit. This is important because the easiest way to enjoy the many benefits that are associated with reading is to make it a natural and consistent part of our daily routine. Now, unfortunately, change is very difficult. We all have established habits and routines and patterns that make up our daily lives, and it's incredibly difficult to change these things, even if all we're trying to do is introduce a five or 10 minute reading habit every single day. So the goal here is that by the end of this episode, you'll have a simple three-step process that you can use to establish a rock solid daily reading habit. So let's dive straight into it, beginning with step number one. Start by choosing two interesting books. Now, this first step might either seem painfully obvious or it might be the breakthrough that you need to not only establish a daily reading habit, but to maintain it over time. Now, the idea here is that for many people, when they're first interested in reading, they like the idea of reading, but they don't necessarily have books in mind for what they would read if they were to establish a reading habit. They might see something in a bookstore that seems interesting, or they might get a recommendation from a friend or family member. But if you're going to establish and maintain a reading habit, then it's very important that you choose books that are very relevant and engaging to you personally. Now, I do have a follow-up episode where I go through a simple process for how to choose really great books, but the short version is, number one, you wanna start by identifying a challenge or an opportunity or a topic that is most interesting to you. So in the case of a challenge, what is something either in your personal life or your work life that you would like to overcome when it comes to an opportunity? What is an opportunity, again, in your personal or your work life that you would like to take advantage of and that you think a book might be able to help you with? Or is there a topic or a theme that you're particularly interested in exploring? You wanna get very clear on what it is that you wanna learn about and then number two is to look for highly recommended books that relate to that topic. So you might look for reading lists online, you might ask other people that you know that have overcome a similar challenge or dealt with a similar opportunity, and you wanna look for great book recommendations from other people that have accomplished or pursued what it is that you're interested in learning about. Now, if you're interested in business-related topics like digital marketing, product management, or even entrepreneurship, I do have dedicated reading lists that cover those topics and several others, and I'll link those up for you down in the description box below. But the core idea here is that for step number one, you want to identify at least two books that are interesting to you. And the reason for two is that once you finish the first book, if you don't have something already lined up, this is where your reading habit might fall apart. So it's very important to always have a book that you're looking forward to reading next. And then of course, once you dive into that next book, it's time to start looking for that third and then eventually that fourth and fifth book so that you're always one step ahead. You always have a book that you're looking forward to reading next so that when you finish your current one, you are able to maintain your reading habit. Let's continue on to step number two. Establish a small minimum daily reading target. A very common mistake that people make when they're trying to establish a new habit is to come out and immediately set a very high initial target. So for example, if you're wanting to set a reading habit, you might be tempted to come out and commit to 30 or even 60 minutes of reading every single day. And there's this idea that we wanna change our life, we want to dive right into reading, and so what better way than setting a large commitment and really getting straight into it? Now, the obvious problem with this approach is that it's very difficult to change our habits and our routines, and the larger the commitment we're making is, the more likely it is that it's gonna break down over time and that it's not gonna be sustainable. Now, there's a second mistake that isn't as common, but it can be just as detrimental when it comes to our ability to maintain a habit over time. And the idea with this mistake is that we might start small, which is the correct place to start, but over a few short weeks or months, we are steadily increasing that minimum commitment to the point where eventually we're now 
holding ourselves responsible for reading for 30 or 60 minutes a day. And we run into the exact same problem, but we believe this is okay because we've slowly increased the minimum. And hopefully over time, we're more and more prepared to take on this more lofty goal. Now, the problem with this approach is it prioritizes intensity over consistency. But if we want to have success when it comes to establishing a new habit, we really want to do the opposite. We want to prioritize consistency over intensity. Now, one of my favorite bits of advice relating to this comes from a book called Mini Habits by Stephen Guise. And what he recommends is that you set a small minimum daily commitment that you can easily accomplish every single day and you never increase that minimum over time. So even in months from now or even years from now, you still have a very simple and achievable daily minimum, something like five pages a day or five minutes a day. Now, on any given day, you can read for as long as you want. So if you're in an interesting section of a book, you can read for 30 minutes or even 60 minutes. The difference here is on the very next day, you don't need to maintain that new high in order to feel like you're moving forward with your habit. You can go right back to your five page or five minute minimum on the next day. And whenever you feel like reading more, you can read more, but the focus here is on consistency. This is very important because the habits that ultimately stand the test of time are those that we can perform consistently every single day. And by reading for five pages or five minutes every day, we rewire our brains and we now consider ourselves a reader. And when we shift our mindset in this way, it becomes far easier to maintain our habit and to see it as a positive part of our everyday routine, as opposed to this growing commitment that can quickly become a chore and actually something that we no longer look forward to doing. And eventually, especially if our life gets stressful or complicated for a period of time, we might have the habit break down and fall to the side and no longer get maintained. Whereas with a small, simple, minimum daily goal, very easy to maintain the habit and very easy to change and shift our identity to that of a reader. Now, the very next thing that we need to focus on is the timing of our new habit. So let's continue on to step number three. Anchor your reading time to a current habit. Often the most difficult aspect of establishing a new routine is just getting started, having a reliable and consistent way for you to initiate your new reading habit. Now, a very powerful strategy for this is to link your new habit with an existing habit or routine that already takes place consistently for you every single day. And this is advice that comes from author James Clear in his book, Atomic Habits. And the idea here is that you wanna take an existing routine, something that is already well-established in your everyday life, and you wanna link your new habit to this existing habit. James Clear calls this habit stacking. And so, for example, you might take breakfast as being a part of your routine that is consistent every single day, and you might attach your reading time to be either before, during, or after you eat breakfast. Not only does this help when it comes to queuing up your new habit in terms of knowing exactly when you're gonna start it, but it also creates greater consistency because now you're not just reading for five minutes every single day, you're reading for five minutes at a specific time every single day. So it improves consistency and you know exactly when you're gonna start your new habit. And so there's no more guesswork in terms of whether you're gonna do it first thing in the morning or later in the day. Now, the one key thing here is you wanna choose a habit that occurs consistently every single day. And it's best if that habit occurs within the first two or three hours of the day, because generally speaking, this is when we have most control over our schedule. And the later into the day we try to establish a new habit, the less likely we are to be successful. So we wanna choose a habit that already occurs early in the day and we wanna take our new reading habit and we wanna anchor it to that existing habit to maximize our odds for not only establishing a new habit but for also maintaining it over the long term. But anyway, those are three simple steps that you can follow to establish your own daily reading habit. Let me quickly recap all three for you. Number one, start by choosing two interesting books. Number two, establish a small minimum daily reading goal. And number three, anchor your reading time to a current habit. 
Again, if you're interested in business-related topics like entrepreneurship or business strategy or digital marketing or product management, I do have dedicated reading lists that cover those topics and several others, and I'll link those up for you in the description box down below. But that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or thoughts about anything that we covered here, let me know down in the comment section below. If you're interested in more content like this in the future, I recommend that you subscribe or follow my updates on social media. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you again in the future.